is intentionally run over and left for dead in downtown Detroit. Now, this video could help police find who is responsible. Jermont Terry is live along Michigan Avenue and Shelby where the man was hit and Jermont witnesses say an argument broke out between the victim and the driver moments before it happened. You're right, Nick, and the video also shows that victim and driver talking here at this intersection well before that horrific um, hit and run, giving investigators an indication that they likely knew each other. But this is still very disturbing for those who witness all of this. Look at the top of your screen. You can see a man standing on the sidewalk. He walks over to a pickup. That's when the man steps in front of the truck and you can see the driver deliberately run the man over. It's very sad. Surveillance video shows a white Dodge Ram speeding off. It goes around traffic continuing east on Michigan towards campus marshes. Several people were outside enjoying the Friday night, including this woman. You know, it made my stomach turn really because I never seen anything like that before. She stepped outside of a bar moments before the accident. I heard yelling, just yelling back and forth, really. The, the guy that was on the sidewalk was the one doing the most yelling. I couldn't really hear anything from the vehicle. But before she went back inside, she couldn't believe what she witnessed, the pickup running the man over. I knew something happened, yeah, something. And then I walked into the street to see what happened, and that's when I seen the guy laying there. She tells me the man was bleeding badly from his head and chin. She ran back inside to yell for help. The woman rushed down to check on the 38-year-old. He was actually talking, trying to talk and stuff like that. And with this hit and run occurring in such a busy area of downtown, many remain in disbelief, and they hope the man driving the white Dodge Ram is caught soon. It's important. I mean, I just hope the guy makes it and he's okay. And we do know tonight that man is still in critical condition. And unfortunately, the surveillance cameras that police have looked at so far do not provide a good d look at the license plate number, and nor do they have a good description of the driver. If you know anything, you should contact Detroit Police. For now, reporting live in Detroit, in downtown, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Jermont, thank you. Hopefully somebody steps forward with that information.